Hey guys, Dark Methius here back with a new video with a channel update. I'm kind of going to do this a little bit different. That being, uh, during reviews and videos like this, we're going to make it a lot easier. But the fact that you'll be able to actually see me. So that will be one thing. So, got my coffee. Morning, Christmas morning, Merry Christmas everyone, and happy holidays wherever you are. This will be up on Christmas itself. So 2021 was a long journey for the channel. And I do want to say, getting over a thousand subs was great over on YouTube. I really appreciate that. The biggest thing going into 2022 is we're going to have some changes. Uh, not big changes content wise, but changes on when or kind of the order, you'll kind of get it from there. So nothing is changing on the channel as a whole for the content itself. We're still going to have Empire Sin. Uh, we'll still have some Rome 2, Gates of Hell, our Eagles franchise, Blue Jays franchise, uh, our Oakland A's are going to be on hiatus until we actually finish the Sons of Legends. And then I'm thinking about clearing at least the afternoon or the nights for some live streaming. And so that makes it easier in everything. So uh, don't be alarmed with this. This starts on Monday. But at the end of the day, I still have some content that I'll be uploading today. So you'll see that about the same time. We'll still have, let's see, I have some Gates of, uh, not Gates of Hell, uh, Empire of Sin. Empire of Sin, then we'll have, I'll put the Eagles franchise out today. While I'm editing the next one, so you see here, uh, editing the next one. And then I think today is Rome 2. So our War of the Gods will be up today. And then I'll take some of your feedback over the next couple of days. And then from there, I'll record the next two episodes. And that'll be one of those things like that. The Gates of Hell update. I have a couple of episodes ready to go, really. And so Sunday, you'll see the second one of our Germany. And then... On Tuesday, I have the third one already recorded. And so what this does, staggering it like this, allows me to kind of organize how I make content uh, off camera for you guys. So it allows me to not have to rush uh, and play numerous games in the same day. What I mean by that is uh, I'm not releasing Gates of Hell Total War at the same time. So I don't have to worry about doing that. Like one day I could record some Gates of Hell while Total War is out. While I'm releasing Total War and then the next day I can kind of roll in and keep it more organized in my head. It's more so for me, but we're not going to have less content on the channel. That's the biggest thing. And then I got to record some Blue Jays over the weekend. Not much is going on for me for Christmas, so... We'll be good. As for the rest of the channel. So live streaming. You can see here. What I'm going to do is. When we're live streaming. I'm going to have it in the afternoon. We've kind of been squeezing it in there. Especially for Halo. To get through Halo. To get over to Halo Infinite. That sort of thing. And I liked that method. While I was doing it. But it was just the, the content left of the live stream. Was a little... A little crazy at times and so we're gonna organize it better going into 2021 and what better way to do it than going into a new year so some of the things that are coming up is i have a couple of videos i'll give you a little sneak peek of said videos give it give me i don't, I don't want to review too much here use my tarkov high hide screen Well, I'll just, uh, I'll just, I'll just tell you. I'll just tell you from here. So, 
every week. I'm going to start doing this now every year. And that will be our yearly games, uh, kind of like our uh, top five or so. Top five games of 2021 for this year. Uh, most anticipated for 2022 that have release dates. And then uh, some of them that don't have release dates in 2022. So they're TBA or things like that. Or some announcements I'm expecting over the next year or so. And so I kind of be put into perspective when we go at the end of the year next year and we look at the most anticipated games and then we can kind of go through and see if those games lived up to the hype. Maybe they didn't. Some did this year. Halo Infinite lived up to the hype. I loved it every second of it. And so that's kind of like the idea where we're going to do the formatting of the content after the Blue Jays franchise, I think what I'm going to do, because I'm really loving the Oakland franchise, is instead of doing a Cubs rebuild, which I think would be good to do in the next MLB The Show, I'm going to change the format of how we do the Oakland A's franchise. And what I mean by that is we're going to go back to the way that we did the Cubs franchise in 2017, and we're going to go back to how I'm doing the Eagles franchise now. And that will be one where uh, you have cuts, uh, big moments. It's not just a large video with that. I think it would be easier to digest. Also, it would be easier to go through uh, seasons, easier to showcase players, more showcases maybe. Uh, maybe some extra episodes in between uh, having some showcases at the minor leagues uh, and then kind of split those up like what I think what I mean by that is say one video is MLB but how I cut that we could be seeing minor league players at the same time so what I mean by that is say for example, May 15th through May 30th. Yeah, there's 30, day, 30 days in May, I think. We'll just roll with it. 15 to the 30th. And we have our MLB uh, players playing during that time. So maybe we have an MLB uh, actual episode there. But at the same time... We are showcasing minor league players during that same time. So it doesn't have to be the fact that we skip over MLB time or big games or anything like that. Or have minor league kind of washed into the episode. We could just have a straight minor league episode, which would be pretty cool. Doing something like that and showcasing those guys. Because I can edit it after the fact and have a straight minor league episode and then a MLB episode at the same time. That's something I can't do right now. But that also means the fact that we have to, we can't have two MLB the show franchises going at the same time because I would just spread myself uh, too thin. So that's what we're going to do with that. So we're going to get through the uh, Blue Jays franchise quicker at this point. I think the expectation after winning a World Series in that one is... To actually push faster to see if we can get those players. And maybe um, maybe in a couple weeks we'll be done with that franchise. Because maybe we'll start simming through more games uh, on that. I'm really liking some of the draft picks though in that one. However, I like a lot of the draft picks in our Ace franchise. So, we'll kind of see. How it goes. We kind of went away from the whole money ball thing after winning the first World Series. And, yeah. No plans for what I'm going to do for MLB The Show 22, I think we're on, because this is 21. So, no plans there yet. 
I don't have an idea. Hopefully they get the two-way player stuff kind of mess uh kind of messed up in this version, but maybe they fix it. But live streams. So we have for future games. The big games I want to play is we get to Pathfinder Wrath of the Ratchet or Righteous. Uh, they get back into that. We have Dying Light 2 coming out, so we need to get through Dying Light 1 and all the DLCs. Uh, Horizon Zero Down we need to get through to be prepared for Horizon Forbidden West. And then I want to actually explore the latest Assassin's Creed game, maybe. But th that might be something that is... Is not done in the live stream, but I might have to figure out a way to actually record that and do a cut sequence of it because that game can get painstakingly long at times, like all Assassin's Creed games can be. Of course, we're going to play some Halo multiplayer in there, some Escape from Tarkov with the guys. Um, I'm really enjoying that, even though I'm terrible, absolutely terrible at Escape from Tarkov. I'm having fun with it. And we'll kind of see what comes at us next year. In the new year, we'll probably showcase some new games on the channel that haven't been seen that are in early access or close to being released. So thanks for hanging out. Hopefully you like this. Uh, give me some feedback in the comments below also. I think what I'm ultimately going to do is when I do reviews, I'm not going to do them on the spot per se. Is What I'm going to do is... Do a review type deal like, kind of like this, and then do the review or, um, yeah, that's how we'll just go with it for now until uh, I can figure out a better setup in a way. With uh, streaming wise and the regular videos, regular videos, we're not going to worry about the cam, it's still going to be just straight me and gameplay. So you're not distracted because I can be seriously distracting. Looking at me. Even to myself. So. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you all have a good Christmas. Happy holidays. Happy New Year. Wherever you are. Whenever you're seeing this. And we are ready to kick off. Last week of 2021 into 2022 with some good games. So thanks for hanging out, and I will see you guys next time. Later.